Good morning, folks. We've got our usual look at space weather. We'll see the storm system that dropped several tornadoes yesterday and caused considerable damage. We'll look at magnetic biology and confirmation that our modern electrified way of life is on the chopping block from space weather. We are looking at the last 24 hours of our star to start here, and while there were several minor pops at the active regions, we've had no significant flares or CMEs. Solar wind is still elevated in terms of plasma speed, but stabilization of the stream has geomagnetic conditions quiet. The only sunspot capable of major flaring at the moment is that northern departing group. We'll of course monitor the development of the other active regions as well. But today, the plasma filaments do present the bigger eruption threat. You can see the thin dark ropes here within the corona in the combined 304 and 211 angstrom views. Let's go next to the storms that hit the USA yesterday. Day cloud distinction with the lightning overlay here. You can see the low spinning in the Midwest region and its convergence line tailing off to the south producing storms as night falls. Tornado risk does remain with the system today. Let's go next to an interesting paper on hypomagnetic fields and water fleas. Hypomagnetic fields are the lack of fields, which becomes more of a real world scenario as our magnetosphere weakens during the ongoing pole shift, and we see several noticeable changes in the species. Most notably, a reduction in the size of females and in the number of offspring generations down the line. The ongoing pole shift is also relevant in this next paper. They studied the March 1940 solar storm and found that it would be tremendously impactful to today's electrical infrastructure. Not only is the sun due for bigger flare activity in the years ahead, but with our magnetic field changing, Earth is left more vulnerable to those solar storms. Most observers know that one of the greatest risks we face is the loss of the grids. Nothing changes here after the latest analysis. Thanks to everyone who came out to the Observer Ranch event over the weekend. It was nice to see the Big Burb in final form as well, with the air starter kicking up the EMP-proof vehicle. Great to see you guys. Lastly, folks, this coming weekend I'll be at the Minnesota Prepper Expo. I'll be speaking July 1st, and it'll be great to see some of you out there as well. We greatly appreciate your support. Be sure to check out the links to Observer Resources in the description box below the video. Subscribe, and we'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.